So here we are. We've gone through the first two phases of the project life cycle. Initiation, where the project foundations are laid and a project manager is appointed. And planning, where the project manager uses their many skills to create a superb project plan. So what next? Well, if this was a skiing trip, you'd be at the point where you've prepared the holiday, got the time off work and saved up enough money. You've got all your equipment on, watched hours of how to ski videos on YouTube. You've mentally prepared yourself on the journey up the ski lift and you are now standing at the top of the slope. You've done everything humanly possible to get ready. But now, it's time to push yourself down the hill and see what your efforts amount to. In project management vernacular, this hill is called execution. So try not to fly headfirst into a tree. As we said over and over again, the more detailed the plan, the easier the execution. Note that I am saying easier, not easy. No project can ever execute itself, regardless of how well it's been planned. The project needs the project manager to manage the work, the people and all communications throughout the whole phase. And while the project team is responsible for the actual execution of the project, it's the project manager who's accountable. Of course, the execution phase will vary more than the planning stage depending on the project, but don't worry. In the following lessons, we will take you through some universal methods for ensuring a smooth execution. All right, you may have noticed that the execution phase runs alongside the monitoring and control phase. Instead of explaining both those phases simultaneously, we will break halfway through execution to explain monitoring and control activities. It will be much clearer this way. Trust us on this one. We've got your back. So let's start at the beginning, the kickoff meeting. See you in the next lesson where we will discuss what it is and how to do it. Great stuff.